It's 841, 19 minutes till 9 o'clock at KQRS. Most Minnesotans listen to him every morning, and those who don't have at least heard of him. The ruler of the morning radio wave. Get ready, because we're going behind the scenes with Tom Bernard and his KQ Morning Crew. Jeff Passolt is here. He's going to do the interview with you today, if that's okay. You bet. Uh, Jeff, you all set? What's the deal with Doug? Doug is the uh, founder of the National Foot Fetish Association. The National Foot Fetish Association. Isn't that what it's called, Doug? Yeah, there's actually two groups. One is the Foot Fraternity, and that's for men into the male feet. And one is the FFF Society, which is the Foot Fetish and Fantasy Society for the male to female contact for the men into women's feet. <laughs> Did you ever think it was going to be this big? Not this big. I got lucky and was surrounded by a number of very, very good people. And, and that's, you know, if I can find any more of them and get rid of the people we have now, then I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Terry Train. Highway 100 North at Highway 7. Tony Lee. And they missed this part of the quote. Anybody for loose meat sandwiches? Mike Gelfand. We owe it to our listeners. Then, of course, Rich Jason and Tom. Tom is great. Tom is a wonderful storyteller, and not too many people know this, but he's also a very skilled gymnast. I don't know, I tune in some of these other shows, and you get no opinion about anything, and they think, oh, I'll just be real nice, and people like me because I'm nice. Well, you're boring. News and information. Montgomery, Alabama. A white state senator running for Congress wrote a speech in which he argued that slavery is justified by the Bible and was good for blacks. The hell's the matter with you? Davidson cited the book of Leviticus. Book of Leviticus, huh? Huh? I believe Told that you. comes right after Exodus, doesn't it? I believe it does, yeah. You may, and matter of fact, we'll be Exodusing in about 32 minutes. <laughs> I noticed Carrie had her, had her coat on. <laughs> is there such a word as Exodusing? There is now. <laughs> but it is. It's horrible. At least one station in town. You worked for them five different times. Five different times I worked there. Got the hook a few times and just kept coming back. In the beginnings, we're pretty humble. No question about that. But also... The one thing uh, that I would say about my family is, is that, yeah, we came from pretty humble beginnings, but I learned tenacity from my family, especially my mother. She's a very tenacious individual, and, and she just told me, hey, just hang in there and keep, keep pounding away at it, and then good things will happen. How much longer do you think it can go on? Boy, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm hoping for, for a while. It's, uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. It's a situation where you, you don't want to say, yo, I think it go on forever because you're really opening yourself up and it may sound, sound arrogant. In my part, I hope it goes on for several more years because it, it is a lot of fun to do. I mean, look at you. You can't hold a job. <laughs> so, you know. It only lasted two years in Denver. Uh, two years back. in Denver and they gave you the hook. What can you tell us about you personally and professionally that maybe somebody else out there wouldn't know? I hope people know that I don't take myself seriously and even though... I uh, blow off steam and I say things that people, oh, that's, God, what a strong opinion that is. I do not take myself seriously. I do not think that I have the answer for anything. And personally, uh, I just say, hey, I like having friends and I love having my family. And other than that, none of it matters to me. None of it at all. As you know, I don't drive around in big cars and live in big houses. None of that stuff impresses me in the least. I couldn't care less about that. You need to find happiness within, Jeff. Within. You're damn Let me right. jot that down. I'll try <laughs> write that down. We use that every day. You can do that like Dan Rather used to say, courage. You could say, find happiness within. within. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I like that. That's perfect.